Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Tammy. So most of you will know that I own a small bath and body business here in Indiana. And as it is currently, as we speak, November 15th, it's really kind of a slow time for my making products. November, December time is usually where I like to do a deep clean, do an organizing, do a bit of inventory, and I spend my weekends really just diving into that. I want to say thank you to Munbin. They did send me a portable printer. This is brand new, just off the line. And I have, let me show you. This is what they sent me. It is quite portable. I can take it upstairs, I can take it downstairs, and it prints smaller labels. So it is not a shipping label. I believe you could do receipts with this if you're one to do receipts but I'm using this for organizing. I love organizing, if you didn't know that, and I like things to be quite tidy, and over the last couple months, things have gotten really untidy. And at the end of the video, guys, I'm going to show you how this printer is saving me hundreds of dollars that I was planning on spending. I am no longer gonna spend those hundreds of dollars, I'm gonna utilize this. So now that I've intrigued you, to stay to the end. See, I'm learning. I can learn these things. All right, here we are in my main workspace and I haven't really tackled this room as far as cleaning or organizing more than it already is. I feel like this room and this space is very, very organized. So here's what I'm doing currently with this uh, smaller printer with the small labels. I do like it for that reason. And one of the things that I've done is I have labeled all of these colors in this tray, this tray I care. And so I know that this is Coral Reef Blue and where I got that from, TKB. And so that's just really handy to have that information right there on these little jars so that when I do the bath bomb painting, that's what this is for, I can just see what color I'm using. And I know that the colors I put in here are bath bomb safe. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a mica and I'm just gonna play around. So I don't have an orange for my bath bomb tray here. So I'm gonna take Clementine and I am going to put stickers of here. So these two printers are Bluetooth. So you download the app on your phone and you can design your labels. The app is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's really not that difficult. So now it just says Clementine, Micahs, and more because I like to know where those came from. And then I can align it because I like to have it dead center of this label. And then I can print it. There we go. That one is done. And I can go here. Just put a teaspoon in there. And there you go. So that's just handy to have. I keep it down here. I keep the charger down here and my colorants are all ready to go. That is why I like this one. Another thing I do in my app, I don't know if I can like tape my phone. I don't know how to do that, but I have that as a 30 by 15 label. That's the label. So I know what label is in that printer. So sometimes it's really hard to know what you have in there. That was always kind of like, okay, what label is that? And then I have to go on Amazon and look at the millimeters and I'm loving this one so much. So let me get this open and same app. I just have to change my printer. Every time you turn it on, it does waste a label. I think there's a hack about how to not waste that label, but I haven't taken the time to really figure that out yet. All right, I'm gonna show you what I've done with it so far. I love this. So this is what I printed so far. So I now have a lip balm base that I can pull from. This is my tallow base, and I created the label there so I know what is in here. And then I also have my standard lip balm base labeled and knowing what's what. I have my citrus scrub. I have that jar labeled so I know what's in here. And then finally, I have my lip scrub base. I am going to be buying 
another one of these containers at Walmart and I'm gonna be making my vegan base as well. Another thing I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna lose my labels on my micas. I want to make those a little less uh, colorful. I tried to do this blue that is in my color palette when I changed my sc color scheme for my business and I don't care for that and my printer does not print blue or green at all. So I think I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna replace them with these and let me just see how that is gonna go. I have this one I haven't labeled yet so I'm gonna get that going and see how it looks. First time guys with you. So I have it typed out like I want it. I'm gonna just do my alignment cause I'm kind of weird about that. Pretty easy, just a couple clicks to do the alignment. And now I'm gonna print it and just let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like it. I don't know if you can see it, but let me put it on here. There. I really like this. I think it's a lot easier to read than especially the blue on the blue like that. I just think this is gonna be much easier for me. So I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'm gonna redo all of these labels on my micas. So I'm gonna do a before and after guys. So hang on, here's the before. bit I'm not gonna lie that took a little bit to get done but I really like it I think it looks so much cleaner than the blue labels that I had before I took the time to wipe down all my jars and wipe down the shelves so that's all clean and ready to go but uh I just really really like these labels and it's so much easier to do this I have this down here pretty much all the time and it's just gonna be here. So anytime I need to label something I can, where before I was running upstairs and putting it on a piece of paper and then taping it on the jars and it just was a lot more trouble. So I'm really happy. Let me know what you guys think about this. I have always been a fan of my wall of colors, guys. <laughs> That's that, I'm starving. So I'm gonna stop for tonight and pick this back up tomorrow, I will at least take you upstairs and show you how it's saving my me some money. I'm very excited about what I'm doing with this printer. And I have a hack for you when I come back. So I just think these labels are so pretty, but these are too big. They don't fit in this uh, portable printer, but I got it to work and I'll show you how I did that when I show you how it's saving me money in just a minute. What do you think of the wall of colors? I really like the white labels with just the black writing. I do think that they are much easier for me to read and see. I think it's also a very much cleaner look to the wall of colors. It's such a busy wall anyway. I didn't need to add extra color to that wall. So I really do like it. Let me know what you think. So I bought these labels. I don't know if I told you this and they are wrong. They're the wrong size. They're too big to fit into this machine. Well, these labels, which I thought were the right size are also too big to fit in the machine. Let me open it up. So it, they fit in there. Okay. But it doesn't close. Don't fear. I have a hack. So what I did, I'll do the green just to show you to get this to work. It's, it's not rocket science, but this is how I did it, is I unraveled maybe, oops, look at that, maybe half of the roll. So I'm going to unravel and roll as I do this. I really don't want to take the camera down, so you know, ah! I'm sure you guys know what I'm doing, or you can imagine what I'm doing. And I'm making this pretty small. So while I'm rolling, let me tell you a couple other things you can do with this machine. You can download a full image of 
anything and print on this machine. So how I was able to do that, and there may be an easier way, but I emailed the image to myself and then I opened up the email from my phone and then I was able to save it to my photos. Uh, and then once you have that, then you can just download or upload that image into your Munbin app and you can use anything you want. Anything that fits on a label you can use. Perfect. My roll with the cardboard tube, my roll that I just created without a cardboard tube. So again, I'm gonna make it pretty small. It really doesn't take much time to do this. So I'm gonna put this in my machine and now this label fits inside this machine. There you go. Now I can print on this label. So I am going to go to my saved items and I have a thank you for your sticker or sticker. Thank you for your purchase sticker created. I created this image in Canva. That way I could have the font I wanted. I could have the hummingbird that is my logo hummingbird. All of that is all of this is done in Canva. So this is just a, like a PNG or JPEG. I don't even know. I'm just going to print it and let's take a look. And it didn't print. Hang on. Do I have it upside down? I had it upside down. And there's a, a handy little icon in here. It's not really a sticker, but it's a little, it's a little image letting you know which way to put your roll in. I had it upside down. Okay. Now let's try it. There it is. Look at that. And so these are circle stickers. So there is an image of my thank you for your uh, order. I was legit going to do custom labels and it was gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars for that. I don't need to do that anymore. These are just as cute as could be. So I'm gonna print off maybe 30 or 40 and print. I think it's so good and it feels very good quality as far as the uh, crispness of the design feels very good. Uh, I'm super happy with this and I, I was able to source out the, cor the teal and the coral color that is kind of my business colors. I'm still getting color on my thank you labels without having to do color print because that was gonna be the first thing I did in January is start sourcing out custom labels. The only problem with the, that is my hummingbird will have to be black. But again, the colored, the colored stickers are fine. It's giving me the color that my heart needs <laughs> without the cost of custom labels. I'm just gonna continually find uses for this. So I wanna just say one more time, thank you Munbin for sending me this printer to review and to share with all of you guys that have supported me for so long. I appreciate that. There is a link in the description box, guys, if you want to check it out, please use that link and it just helps me and, you know, help support me even more. So I appreciate all of that support that you guys have always given me. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you have any thoughts on what you do or what you would would do with this portable printer, please let me know and help me come up with some more uses for it. In the meantime, have a wonderful day and I will see you next week on my regular day Saturday. 